Hi YouTube, welcome to another edition of Horror Hands and for this video I was going to talk about Godzilla, King of the Monsters, the new version. So forgive the uh, the change in location, I'm just parked up waiting to pick my girlfriend up but I got a bit of time so I thought great time to talk about the film because I went to see it last night at the cinema and it's a good film but so yeah it was good it had some great moments in it but there were some things that I didn't quite care for I felt pretty much exactly the same as Andrew Balliner so I know he thought it was a good film but there were things that, that didn't didn't quite work for him and it was the same for myself but the positives were I really liked Godzilla and I liked the action that was in it. I liked it when Godzilla was fighting the other monsters. King Ghidorah was particularly impressive. And I'm not a huge fan of CGI. But I did like the CGI Ghidorah. Because you you got to see him in a way that you've never seen him before. Which is like this larger than life. Really powerful giant monster and that never fully came across I don't think in the original Japanese ones just because of the, the limitations that they had he was always awesome but in this one you really do get the scale of how large and destructive he is so that came across really well and the other monsters looked looked really good too I also like the build-up that Godzilla got in the in the film when he comes out you get some of the original music and it's quite suspenseful and and they build him up very well and there's also I think Andrew mentioned this as well there's some great uh, sort of uh, far away widescreen shots of the monsters and and that's really really cool so that aspect of the film which is kind of the main aspect for me was was really good that didn't disappoint there were a few things that I didn't care for, so kind of like in the mid, heart, the, just past the halfway point of the film, it really started to lull, and I was really starting to lose interest. It seemed like a long time before we... we Godzilla came into it quite early on, which was cool, and he fought Ghidorah, which was great, and then there was this long lull where you didn't really see anything, you didn't see any Godzilla and you didn't really see any of the monsters and what was frustrating was in the film five or six other giant monsters are awoken and they go on, go around destroying cities but you never see them you just you kind of see it quickly on a news flash that these monsters are terrorizing earth but you never see it you just get scene after scene of humans discussing their scientific theories and sort of describing what's going to happen when these giant monsters take over the earth but there's a long time before any kind of fighting and, and as I say a lot of these monsters are quite sadly underutilized. Towards the end of the film Godzilla comes back and he has a fight with Ghidorah and that's a great scene and that it involves Godzilla, Ghidorah, Rodan and Mothra and that's really really cool but still even when that's taking place they're trying to push the human aspect so you've got a guy searching for his daughter you've got people searching for this scientific device and it's I, I don't want to see that I don't care for that the human aspects of these kind of films will always be a problem for me I understand that they're necessary but again this was I felt this was another film that it was it was driven by humans with a few interjections of monster moments and I want it the other way around I want this driven by monster action with maybe a few human uh, elements added in just to keep the film going so it was good but it was frustrating again and I had the same frustrations that I had with the 2014 Godzilla in that there was just too much of a human factor so those frustrations remained and it was frustrating that those frustrations were still there if that makes sense also the humans had to help Godzilla quite a few times in this movie he he, he kind of got his ass kicked a few times and they had to kind of get him back up on his feet and kind of give him a helping hand and I don't know how I feel about that that, that was a bit I don't know but um 
Yeah, overall, I enjoyed it. it. It is a good film. I feel like I am being a bit cynical, and maybe this the, the human element is is necessary, and maybe people really enjoyed that side of it. But I don't. I don't go to watch these movies for that kind of thing. I don't. I don't care about the, the human aspect and the emotional side. You know, I just. I just want to see Godzilla. So it it was a good film. It had a some cool throwback moments. Um, Mothra was really cool in it. And she was beautifully done. She had a great part. It it just it just suffered some of the same things that the previous ones have done, where it was just I didn't care for for that human storyline side, the human storyline side of it, and it seemed like that was pushed a lot more than than kind of the 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 monster action, if you will. So I would have li- liked to have seen much more of, of that kind of thing. And I would have liked to have seen much more of the other monsters that were kind of in it, but not. So, so yeah. But it, it was good. I will look forward to watching it again. And uh, look forward to whatever they do after this. Because I'm sure there'll, there'll be another one without giving anything away. So, yeah, I'm I'm just starting to watch your guys' reviews on this because I've kind of stayed away from it. I didn't want to to find out too much, but I'm looking forward to going around and watching some of your reviews now, seeing who agrees and who doesn't, and feel free to let me know what you think of this one too. So, thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned for more videos.